that he'll will multiple sclerosis. It's an incurable disease. Did you know nearly one million people in the U.S. has it, including actress Christina Applegate? Recently, you probably heard about her story. She's been raising awareness, and here at home, the South Texas MS Council trying to do the same. Joining us this noon hour, Lucia Rivera, founder of this non local nonprofit, and we also have Janie Utado, a member. Hi. Thanks so much for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you for you. inviting us. Okay, Janie, let's start with you first. Tell us, what is MS? MS is a neurological condition. There's no cure for it. It affects our nerves, so our own body is attacking itself. And so when did you learn about your diagnosis? I learned when I, in 2009, so that was about 15 years ago. And so what has this journey been like for you? A difficult, it changed my life completely. My children, my husbands, my, my mom and dad, everybody. And so for those who may not be aware, are there symptoms to look out for? And does it affect men and women the same? No, it's completely different. Even though it's the same illness, it's different symptoms for everybody. And but so what, are there symptoms that we need to look out for though? Or that more we the heat. We cannot tolerate the heat as well as others. We fall a lot, we, tr we have tremors. Our speech can be uh, difficult at times. And so, so when we experience that, you suggest what? What do you recommend to everybody? Oh my God, get in a cold place. <laughs> get yeah. chucked. Um, yes. MS is considered um, uh, like a snowflake. Mm -hmm. Not every patient is the same. They all experience different symptoms. Like my daughter started with a slur. And some people start like with uh, tremors or, or tripping. And so not a single patient is the same. And they all go through different, you know, symptoms throughout their their life with a mass and this is why you started this organization I started the organization because uh, 10 years ago my daughter was 18 and she started with a slur took mm -hmm. her to the hospital she had swelling of the brain and spots in her brain the swelling came down so she was talking like nothing happened but they couldn't figure out what she had so I took that MRI to Scott and White and they put it in said she's got multiple sclerosis but we've been lucky now we have Dr. Cruz for DHR he's a neurologist and I'm a specialist that is treating is treating people and finding out their their uh, symptoms and their diagnosis quicker you know before you know they had no idea and so how does your organization help people like Janie families because everyone is impacted everyone is going through this it affects all of them I think it helps me also as a parent I need the support you know with other parents to see you know because it's really hard to see your daughter like my daughter she's 28 now living in an 80 year old body and I'm in you know, younger and, uh, you know, older and still feel, you know, it's just really heartbreaking. And we help each other by talking to, uh, to each other about what they're going through, where we can find services. We provide um, financial help, you know, with people with MS in our area. So the money we raise on our 5K uh, stays here in the Valley for people with MS. Yeah, and you're getting ready for that 5K. And we're getting ready March 30th. Yes. That's our ninth annual multiple sclerosis uh, walk, and we get uh, uh, it's, we're going to have seven pharmaceuticals this year actually set up, you know, at our walk and a lot of DHR sets up at our walk. We have a lot of, you know, different uh, sponsors, you know, helping us out and we get a lot of patients. And out there we get Dr. Cruz that talks about MS to the patients. We're here to educate our community mm -hmm. and support them. So we get patients to talk about MS also. So Okay, so people, different pharmacies, as you said, and doctors will be set yes. up to give important information to educate, <laughs> raise awareness about what's going on with MS and your organization, how yes. you can offer the support to so many families out there that are dealing with this. Yes, because yes. there's no cure for MS, and they, you know, they still don't know, you know, mm -hmm. so we need a cure. Okay, so as you mentioned, the 5K walk and run is happening on March 30th. It's going to happen in Mission. Yes, yes. it's going to be in Mission, and we... At my, it's uh, Kenneth White Jr. High. Okay. You can get on our website, WW South Texas MS Council, or get, you know, and our flyer has a cure code. Uh, call us, and my phone number's there. Whatever help, if there's any new members, we're willing to yes. help, you know. And now the time community. to register. Yes. Yeah, I can start registering. The registration's open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first uh, 100 pay, uh, people to register are guaranteed their T-shirts mm -hmm. and the packets, but we have more, but <laughs> just and in case. And if somebody just wants to join on that day, can they sign they up? They can yes. sign up on site. To their, it's open. All right. Yes, and also sponsors, if they want to come in, we're willing to take anyone that can help us mm -hmm. spread the word. Well, we thank yes. you so much for joining us thank today. You. and. 
sharing that important information and raising awareness for multiple sclerosis. Yes. Thank you. It's needed. And Thank again, you. folks, the ninth annual MS 5K Walk Run happens Saturday, March 30th in Mission. You can register right now. For more information, go to SouthTexasMSCouncil.com. We'll be right back.